probably find a makeup look to do first. Yeah, that's what I should do. Hello, and welcome back to me doing my makeup while I talk about stuff. I wasn't planning on filming like a bunch of these because uh, it was just so different from like all the family videos that I just figured that it just it wasn't gonna work but surprisingly it got you know a good number of views so I'm doing it again um because I had a terrible morning <laughs> and I don't know just needed to get it off my chest I guess and this seemed like a pretty decent way to do it because like I'm, I'm home by myself and I'm feeling pretty crappy and and this will make me feel less crappy um, yeah so this morning I went rollerblading to get some exercise and um, it didn't go so well. No, no, it didn't. Um, I fell. Um, I'm fine. I have a little scrape on my knee. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm fine. Um, I fell because, not because I don't know how to rollerblade, although I was pretty like, eh, at first, and like, you know, the whole idea was just to like start and like, you know, um, get better. <laughs> Anyways, I fell because my rollerblade broke. Like, like the rollerblade broke. Like the plastic broke. Like my rollerblade broke. Like I had to take them off and um, and walk home <laughs> in, in my socks down the street. Uh, some guy was riding past on a bike and um, he stopped and asked me if I was okay which is nice like because people don't usually like do that kind of thing these days so that was nice of him and I was like yeah I'm fine because I, I was fine at the, at the point that he was riding past me was um, I was just taking off my rollerblades like I was sitting on the ground just taking off my rollerblades because I couldn't like I couldn't wear them to to like to ride home. Um, <laughs> uh, and he was like, "Are you okay, Miss?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine." <laughs> and I feel like when it happened, I think I yelled shit like really loud. Like, he probably heard me on his bike, like, down the street and was like, oh my god, what happened to this girl? And, like, I am fine. Like, and I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I didn't even know that I had, like, cut my knee until I got home. And, like, by the way, it was, like, 80 degrees out this morning at, like, 8.30. So, when I when it was, like, 10 o'clock, it was probably still 80, probably higher than 80. And so I was sweating. I was probably gone for like 20 minutes. So like, I wasn't gone for very long. Like I literally like, this is my house. There's a street right here. And I was on that street. So like, I could still kind of see my house when I fell. So there's that. So I'm happy that I wasn't farther because man, that would have sucked. It would have sucked so bad if I was like on the next street or like, I'd, oh God, if I was like that, like I was gonna go down, like I was gonna do an L, like I was gonna go down this street and down this street, like my original walk, cause I think the sidewalks are a little bit better than a subdivision. And like, if I would have been at the farthest point of my, like, like when I turned around and I would have had to walk all the way back in socks, carrying my fucking rollerblades, I would have been pissed. Ah! Ah! I'm just so like, 
overwhelmed with like, like I don't like I, I'm laughing because like th there's nothing else you can do. Um, okay, so I keep leaning over this way, and I know last time I didn't. It's because I used to sit here, but the window's here, so I just like moved myself over a table. Um. But now I can't find anything. Oh, that was great. Oh, haha, concealer. Um, yeah, so that was my, my morning. So I've uploaded a couple of the videos like from before that I, um, that I recorded that I hadn't posted yet. And, um, and then I'm, and then I'm back to this one. So I have one more from before. Um, but it's Violet's graduation, her preschool graduation, and, um, there's, like, it's a lot of work. It's gonna take me a while to edit it. Um, not because I have, like, a whole bunch of footage, but because, um, I want to blur out all the other kids' faces just for privacy because, you know, I, I, I don't intend to ask all their parents if I can, like, post this video with their kids' faces in it, which is, like, fine because I never intended to show their faces anyways, but it's just the process because... My laptop is so old and I don't have like new programs and like my computer just like it has like no space like when I edit right now it's like your storage disk is full like get rid of stuff before you can continue like I can barely even edit so I do have an external drive hard drive which is actually right beside me right here um because my laptop is right here beside me because I got a new toy and I'll show it to you in a minute um but my laptop is so old it won't update anymore so I can't get new programs and it's a whole thing. Like I would love, because I, I have a Mac, all of my house products are Mac, we use Apple phone, our phones are Apple, my, my laptop's a Mac and we have Apple TV boxes in our house and that's basically all we use for electronics in our house. Um, I would love to get like a desktop Mac. Is that's expensive. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my makeup today. Like, I didn't really have a set plan coming into this. So, I don't want to do anything crazy because I didn't put like foundation on. I just used like a BB cream. Um, I guess I'll just finish my base and I'll go from there. Um, Okay, so that was my morning, and that's why it kind of sucked. Hold on, I'll show you my my injury. It's on the opposite leg as my sprained ankle, so don't worry about that. So here is my knee, this tiny little thing. That's all that happened to me. So, I'm fine. Um, they were like old rollerblades, so the plastic was probably just no good anymore and but I had like tested them out like I rode them like uh we found them at my mom's house and um I had like rid I rode them rid them I rid them no I rode them up and down the driveway and like to make sure that they fit and like that I could still rollerblade and you know everything went smooth on that test run so I figured, what the heck, I'll just bring them home, I'll go for a rollerblade. The plan was to just like start with like a small journey and like, you know, go from there kind of thing. Um, but they broke on the first ride. Kind of sad. Kind of sad by it, but you know. It's fine. I don't really know if I would have enjoyed the rollerblading that much anyways, so. I mean, it's it was it was good. Like I was so sweaty and I was only out there for like 20 minutes, but that's, you know, probably just the heat or whatever, but I don't know, like I felt so wobbly and I just felt like I was noticeably wobbly and like all the cars were just waiting for me to fall. Like everyone who passed was like, "Oh, that girl is going to crash soon and like I mean 
they were right I did I didn't crash I just like crumbled like the skate broke and I just I had nowhere to go except for down and man it sucked to be on a busy street that's for sure because I'm sure all those people that were driving by as it happened got a good laugh to start their day they probably got to work and was like oh my god I watched this girl wipe out on some rollerblades like ha 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 I'm fine by the way to all those people Anyways, so I have a new toy. Um, it's right here. It's this little handheld microscope. And like for real though, I need to give like the biggest shout out to um, Rob Beauty Christie. She's a YouTuber, obviously. Um, I have absolutely fallen in love with her the last um, few weeks. Um, she posted a video using this little microscope, which I went on Amazon and bought, and it's it was thirty dollars. So if you want your own Amazon, um, but like I was just so fascinated, and it's just so cool. Like you can look at anything. Like I've looked at like every inch of my face. I've looked at my arms. I looked at my tattoo. I looked at everything. And we went. So we brought it outside. And we looked at nature. And I got this really cool picture of a June bug. I'm gonna put it right there. How cool is that? Oh gosh, and if you don't have, maybe you call them fish flies or if you don't know what June bugs are, there's like, these, there are these weird bugs that my, um, that my kids are like literally obsessed with. Sawyer loves them. She like goes in the backyard and just like picks them up and she like puts them all on her arm and she just like walks around with all these bugs because like they're super, super, docile and they don't bite I think I was told that their lifespan is like 24 hours so they like hatch and then they live for 24 hours and then they are dead and then they turn into these weird like skeleton like ones anywho I have this microscope and like it's so cool like I can't even explain to you I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I can like put all of this footage up onto the um like in my frame I just learned how to do this but like here is so I have this makeup brush so here is this is a Morphe E41 and um oh I gotta turn the light on it has a light here's a light oh okay there we go focus it oh, oh. I wasn't recording on my computer I'm so sorry Okay, so he, oh gosh, that's so cool. You can just see all the hairs, like all the different color hairs. This brush is actually relatively clean, so I'm not embarrassed that I'm showing this to you. But like, how cool is that? Like, so cool, right? Like, oh gosh. Anyways, I've just been super loving this microscope and just looking at all the things with it. I think that was a cat. Going back to what I said at the beginning about, you know, I didn't plan on doing these makeup videos, but like here we are doing another makeup video. I, I, like, I don't know. I think that I'm just really good at talking to myself. And like that's what this is about. That I need to like talk to myself but like by talking to you which is actually a camera I know when I said Ooh, talking to you you were like oh me but like in reality I'm sitting in this room in my house talking to a camera with no one else around and like I have this weird ability to just like hold a conversation with myself but it's like stuck inside of me and it needs to come out so it's coming out and because I don't want her to just sit in front of a camera and do nothing, I'm gonna do my makeup because I want to. I think I'm pretty good at it. I mean like, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I don't think it sucks when I do my makeup. 
also I got compliments from like random people and when I say random people I mean just the people who work at my chiropractic office so they're not random I see them a lot but like I never wear makeup and the one day my appointment was like I think at 12 and it's just a weird time because like I didn't really have time to like do anything else in the morning so I just need to kill like I think I went to Walmart so by the time I got back from Walmart um I only had, I had like an hour to kill before I had to like leave. I still left early, but I never wear makeup to the chiropractors like ever. Cause when I have to get an adjustment, you have to, ooh, come on, focus. You have to put your face into that whole thing. It's not even a whole thing. It's like two things like this and you put your face in it. And then when you get up, there's like a perfect imprint of your face whenever you wear makeup because I made that mistake one time. But today I was just like, I don't care. I'm just going to put some makeup on. I did the exact same look that I, wait. Ha ha ha. I filmed the other video before I went. That's what I did. And uh, when I got to the chiropractic office, I kid you not, every employee I came in contact to was like, you look different today. Like, you look really nice today. Like, did you do something different with your hair? Because usually when I go there, I have a different hair color every single time. And I was like, nope, <laughs> still the same hair that I had the last time I was here. And they're like, no, 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 no. Something's different about you. And even like, and not just like, you know, the lady receptionist or the lady who does my, who did my um, laser light therapy, which I'm done now, by the way. Um, it was also like my doctor who's like a male and I would say he's probably like 40 and he was like you look different today and I was just like put some makeup on and then he looked like super embarrassed because like that's an embarrassing thing to say to a woman I guess I don't know I wasn't embarrassed I could care less I know how different I look with and without makeup and I love it like I'm not like offended that you were like noticed my makeup and the one girl was just like going on and on about how much she liked it and finally I was just like I do have a certification in makeup artistry which in layman's terms means I'm technically a certified makeup artist so I would hope that my makeup looks nice and she was like oh well you're really good at it and I was like thanks I don't use it my certificate and obviously I wasn't about to explain how like you know how ridiculous the whole industry is and how crazy and then where we live there's like a bajillion makeup artists in like the county that I live in county was not the right word um like no thank you and I I don't know I just I you know had a taste of it and it's not for me but I like to do my own makeup and this is fun, talking to myself for the camera. Anywho, um, I'm gonna do this a little backwards today. I'm gonna start with the same ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that I used last time because I'm just obsessed with this like yellow chartreuse color. Um, but it's gonna like, I'm not doing steps. I don't know, I'm not doing normal steps. It's whatever. Anywho, what was I saying? Makeup artist. Anywho, well, let's move on to another subject. I completely lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so, like, I have no idea what I was thinking about before. Like, I have no idea where I was trying to make that thought go or what I was trying to talk about. So I'm going to completely change the subject and if it comes back to me later, it comes back to me. So we are going on vacation soon and that's pretty exciting. I think I changed the countdown this morning. I believe it's at 17 days. We are going away July 13th. I plan to film the entire time we are gone because like, why not, right? Um, and I don't even like, 
I've been thinking about it and I don't even think I'm gonna bring makeup with me. I'm back on the makeup train. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. We're just going to a cottage on a lake, I believe. My mom, Mitchell, the girls, I think my stepdad's gonna be there for part of the time and then I believe Mitchell's sister, my sister-in-law, Julia, will be there as well. Oh, before that, it's Philo's birthday on Friday. So I think, so I'm filming this on Wednesday. I'm gonna post it on Thursday. So tomorrow is Violet's birthday when you see this. Um, she turns four, which is crazy. Like, so crazy. So crazy. I can't believe it. She's my second baby. How is my second baby four? Oh boy. Time. She's going fast, that is for sure. Um, it looks so vibrant. Anyway, so vacation. So, really excited about that. Um, I'm trying to like think of things that I might need in the car with the girls. So we're gonna have a two year old, a four year old, and a five and a half year old in a car for about five, probably more like six hours because the middle one likes to pee a lot and um I'm gonna turn the um I'm trying to think of ideas on like what to bring in the car to help make it a little easier we're very fortunate to have a DVD player like in our car like attached to our car um so we're going to bring a lot of DVDs and we're not gonna watch the same movie on repeat which is usually what we do like when we're driving around town and stuff if the movie ends we usually just um, just start it over um, I thankfully in a past life was a avid DVD collector of all genres so I have a lot of kid stuff. I have multiple seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants on DVD, um, which is a car favorite. Um, so we're good for like movies and like entertainment that wise. But like, how? Like, what about snacks? Like, what are some good snacks for in the car? Because. I, it's like I need to know this information so it's just escapes my brain all of a sudden um, and I just like don't know what I'm doing it's like I was you know, told to be like I'm thinking like we're trying to think of ways to like let them hold their own snacks I guess so they can kind of like it's gonna be such a full car like we don't even need to do that like there's gonna be people who are going to have access to the girls at all times because like the way that we have our car set up right now so we have a van I believe it is a seven passenger van so there's like bucket seats bucket seats captain's chairs is that what they're called not bucket seats um captain's chairs captain's chair like the front seat captain chairs and then like a three seater in the back and the way that we have it set up right now is we have one of the captain chairs from the center row removed well we this van has stow and go so it's actually just like underneath, um, which is handy. And then we have one car seat in the middle row, and then one in the um, two in the back. Sorry, not one. We have three kids. Um, in the back, which is really nice, and it really, um, it really works well for us. And. Um, but what we're trying to figure out is how to get seven people into the car for this ride. Possibly. Six or seven. If it's six, then we will be okay. If it's seven, we're going to have to do a little bit of reconfiguring of the car. But I think we got it figured out because my mom has these different car seats than us. They're like slimmer. They're not so like bulky. So we're going to switch out our bulky car seats for my mom's slim car seats. And we're going to try and fit like two car seats in the back with a person and then have a car seat and a person. Um, best, the best way that that would happen is if 
we could get a person in the center in the back so that way the girls aren't right on top of each other because it's Violet and Emmy in the back and they don't always see eye to eye on things which is fine they're children and Emmy is Emmy and like if, if Violet starts to get annoyed like just from like being in the car for too long like Emmy's gonna like take advantage of that and she's going to like just try and just push all of her buttons to no avail and like that's going to suck for the other people in the car um it just is ah so having a person in the back but I don't think that's gonna be possible so we might have to move Emmy up to like the middle row and then um have Violet Sawyer in the back because they get along more than they don't get along and like Emmy and Violet I mean like don't get me wrong like they are starting to get along more but like it's nowhere close to like five hours travel time in a car Anyways, I'm also worried that we're going to, like, discover that one of our kids has, like, motion sickness and they're going to, like, throw up on the way there because I had really bad motion sickness. Like, I still do. Like, I'm terrible. Like, my first reaction to anything is, like, is to throw up. Like, I feel, I feel nauseous, like, all of the time. All of the time. And it sucks. It sucks. And like, I don't know if it's just like my stomach or my digestion or whatever. Like, I could I could still eat really healthy and something would upset my stomach. Like, all the time. All the time. I don't know how I feel about this. It's very yellow. I mean, it is summer officially now, so. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. Not yet, anyways. Um, but I mean, like, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. There's also, like, packing and, like, making sure that we have enough clothes for everybody. And, like, we're potty training Emmy. And, like, so we have to make sure we have enough underwear. But there is a wash and dryer at this cabin that we we're going to. So, like, that is good. And... I'm probably just gonna end up packing like all of the underwear that we own because Violet tends to have accents every once in a while and like that's fine. Um, I mean, it's not fine, but like, but we do. There's <laughs> last day of school is tomorrow. Um, and then she's off for the whole summer. So, and then it'll be like 15 days. So I'm gonna have to like get everything packed and ready and everything like with Sawyer. I mean, obviously on the weekends and stuff like Mitchell will help, but he's in charge of like all the like camping essentials. I know nothing about camping. I like to camp in a cabin. <laughs> like this is my kind of camping trip, like in a cabin. Yes, please. I'm having a hard time. I feel like I, I boasted about being able to talk to myself and now it's just like, there's no thoughts. I had so many points that I wanted to talk about and now I got nothing. Oh, packing. Um, I'm gonna use big Ziploc bags to pack the girls' clothes. Not necessarily in outfits because they never like the outfits I pick out for them anyways. So like, just like all their shirts into a Ziploc bag like and label it like Emmy and then Violet and Sawyer like label everything have everything kind of organized that way so that um at least we can try and use less suitcases try and keep everything as compact as possible because trying to fit everyone's stuff into our van with that many people in it is going to be difficult 
Um, our stone go seats do allow for storage like underneath, which is awesome and kind of weird to think about, I guess. If you think about it, like maybe like underneath everyone. But it's what we were given. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my eyes right now, makeup wise, just because I kind of hit like a maybe this is enough. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just line with some brown eyeliner. I got it here, there it is. Um, yeah, the brown eyeliner, and then I have this mascara from ColourPop. It is called Yellow Goodbye, and it is yellow. So I think I'm gonna use that on my bottom lashes to give a pop of yellow on the bottom without having to use yellow shadow down there. And since I'm talking about makeup again, um, I think that I might start doing like, not makeup tutorials cause like, but like I'm gonna, I realize that I have enough ColourPop makeup to do a full face of ColourPop, so I want to do a full face of ColourPop video, but I don't know if I'm going to talk about the makeup, like if that would be something that would be good, or if I should just do it like, like one of these like out life update type videos, because um, like that's fine too, like I don't mind, like I'm going to list everything, um, that I used on my face today, like in, in the description box. So like, if you do want to know what makeup I used or whatever, like it's there. Um, I also, oh, there's an eyelash on my lash. Okay, so there's nothing in my eye anymore. Um, anyways, if you want to know what makeup I use, I do list everything in the description box. So like, there's that. Um, but I also have no problem, like, explaining what I'm doing makeup-wise and, like, not necessarily talking about, like, my life at the same time. Oh, yeah, I just remembered I want to use this glitter. Although I'm scared to use this glitter because it kind of burned me last time I tried to use it. Not burned me, it just didn't feel good on my eyelid. But I think it's because I just, like, put it down, like, right on my... Well, I didn't. I let... The girls do my makeup and I just like they just put the glitter like right onto my bare eyelid because like right now I'm having no issues it was also when my skin was like in a flare up too so like that probably has something to do with it that looks pretty this is also color <laughs> See, I told you, I have a lot of ColourPop makeup. So I'm gonna do that. And also, I do tend to buy like new makeup every once in a while. And I don't wanna do reviews because like I don't necessarily think that I am like, would be good at like makeup reviews. But I mean, I can always show you the new stuff that I got, which I mean, I would enjoy that because I don't really get to share my makeup with too many people in this house. Not currently, anyways. And when the girls get older, it's gonna be more of like, who stole my eyeshadow palette? Than like, you know, getting ready together. So, I'm gonna have to get like a makeup drawers with like locks on it for when the girls are older. I have to ask my permission. <laughs> That's actually not a terrible idea. All right, time for yellow mascara. I'm gonna figure out what the heck lip color goes with this look. Probably the same lip color that I do 
every single day of my life. Or if I even like this yellow. Can you even see that in the camera? Cause it is super yellow in person. This one kind of like, uh, can you see that? Like, I don't even know if you can see that. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. I just, I don't know. It kind of makes my lower lash line look kind of gone because it's so light. But also, like, I didn't really do a very good job covering up my dark circles today. But that's okay. I think I'm going to leave it because why not? figure out my lip color I do wear the same color consistently I think I'm just gonna put a gloss on and call it a day also from Colourpop <laughs> like if I were to do a full face of Colourpop makeup I would like I would tell you the products I you know all right now that I'm done my makeup I think Ooh, I didn't highlight not done my makeup but once I'm done my makeup once I apply this delicious highlighter which really isn't a highlighter it's just an ambient it's just the hourglass ambient lighting power but I like it for the summer because it's not I don't know I don't like a an in-your-face highlight but I like to glow like the fairy princess that I am no um I just like to glow I don't like to glow too bright also mm, they were just somewhere there was a pair of pink tweezers ah ha ha somewhere this piece of glitter has gone rogue and I want you to be out of there. Thank you. Alright, so now that my makeup is done, I'm thinking I'm just going to look at a couple of things that are in front of me under the microscope because I was planning to look at some of my makeup under the microscope. Um, and I'm already here, so we might as well. So I'm going to... Turn this light back on. I'm going to not forget to hit record on my computer this time. And the first thing that we're going to look at is this crazy, oops, sorry, this crazy super shock shadow and the color telepathy. I know, so pretty, right? So here we go. Ooh. Oh wow, I'm so shaky. The whole world is gonna find out how shaky my hands are. Wow, that's so pretty. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. Um, all right, what's next? I also wanna see what setting powder looks like underneath the microscope because um, it's just so like, oof, it's just so like finely milled that I just, I want to know what it looks like. So I just poured some out in the cap here. Oops, hit record. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what's that? No, that's just like the button from the lid. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder if I like it on this nifty little stand it did come with a stand if I put it on the nifty little stand I can get a better non-shakiness for you oh wow look how like 
sparkly it is almost like so sparkly there's a nice big clump I just need to like move this over down more there we go look at that that's not, I'm moving the container. That's not me being shaky. Oh, so cool. Oops. All right, what's next? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, we can look at how disgusting my beauty, my beauty blender is. Well, this isn't even a beauty blender. It's like a, it's a Morphe sponge, but still. All right, let's see how disgusting this is. Ooh, trypophobia warning, ha <laughs> ha. Holy, holy, holy. I have some like, yeah, there's definitely some like foundation in there. Let's look up here. You know, it's not too bad. I've I've seen worse. It's pretty holy, but and I just can't get it focused. Well, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That kind of makes me feel better because, like, sometimes those beauty blenders are so disgusting that you're like, how does that person put that on their face? Like this one, but I don't use it. So like, watch, but like just watch how disgusting this one is. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, there's like hairs in it. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Look at all the foundation just Oh god, look at all the foundation in that spot. Ugh. 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 Ugh, that's enough of that one. Gross. Gross. See? Like, there's worse. I also have been looking at, like, ooh, that's what I want to look at. I want to look at what my skin looks now that I have makeup on. Holy shit, I'm sparkly. I don't even think I put sparkles there. How disappeared my pores are. Look at all that eyebrow product I have in there. Look at my... Look at my yellow lashes. My intensely yellow inner corner. Ooh, it's making my eye water. Look how sparkly I am. I'm sparkly. Let's look at my gross chin. Oh, you can kind of see my pores there. So sorry. Oh, there's a nice little chin hair for you. Oh, but I'm still so sparkly. That was a gross hair. I'm not showing that to you. I'm so sparkly. It's beautiful. Anyways. So I think we're going to call it. Uh, for today. If there is anything that you would like me to look at under the microscope, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to do a whole video that's just looking at different things under the microscope. It would, nothing would please me more <laughs> than to do that. Um, it could be anything. Anything. Um, I like really want to show everyone like what acne looks like under a microscope, but like it's gross. Like, I'm just gonna throw it out there that it's disgusting. There's so many things that are disgusting. I have this little red dot right here on my chest. It's so tiny and little. Under the microscope, disgusting. Um, but anyways, like, grass, flowers, whatever, bugs. I will do it all. Other makeup products. I don't know. I have quite a few makeup products here that we could look at, probably. I don't know. So let me know. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, 
I'll make that happen. Oh, I guess I can take this clip of my hair. Oh, left it in for too long. It's fine. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! If I could stop burping, that would be great. But, there's something in my eye. Ooh, I'm about to pull up the microscope and look see what the fuck's in my eye. Um. Time for a minute. It's like the wonderful power of editing will make this never happen. But now that it's happened, I have no idea what I was talking about.